to boot up noise. Unfortunately, my uh, I still have to get a uh, a PS One just for one game, and we'll be able to hear the the glorious PS One boot up noise. Because my other PS One around here just doesn't work anymore. Like the lasers stopped working. PS1 does not support component, no. The best you can do is compo or, um, RGB, which I can do, because I have the, the Frame Meister. But you can do composite, S-video, and RGB SCART with, uh, with a PS1. PS2 lets you actually do a component. All right, so where we last left off, make sure to put this up here. Where we last left off, um, there was like a, a machine that stole people's souls or something, and then murders, uh, alternate universes, um, a spaceship, um, a new world order, and now we're going to this factory here. That's pretty much where we're at. That's what I remember. <laughs> now suddenly, we're going to an abandoned factory. Yep, a spaceship. <laughs> like, the, the New World Order's plan is to put the New World Order on the spaceship and then destroy the entire world. Oh shit. And then they would repopulate the world from their spaceship. Dude, this got real, real fast. Well, that, the, the story is probably crazier than 3 and 4 because 3 and 4 were like high school stuff. And they got to ramp up from high school like murders to, yo, the world's ending. <laughs> because robots and aliens. Okay. So now that everybody's level 99, my, um, my item that lets me not get encounters with lower level enemies should kick into gear here. So I shouldn't be getting encounters here. Alright, Trish is found. Yeah, I called the doctor. I've been pretty upfront about that, and I've been mentioning it a lot, so yes. All I care about with Persona 2 at this point is uh is the story
Oh, jeez. Chose wisely with my. Okay. Come on, seven, five, two, three, two, six. the code to something. And the disguise goods just Come don't on, work. I'll take you on. All right, how about we run away? Good luck. like it doesn't mark uh, pitfalls here. <laughs> Alright, so it's up this... Oh, it does. Okay. On this map, it marks pitfalls, but not... Uh... Oh, God. Okay. King Frost is on the menu because uh, that's the wallpaper I chose. We can do that. We can make it a dragon, or the New World Order, or Baofu, or Seven, or Purple. But given the option to have Jack Frost on everything, I can have Jack Frost on everything. Actually, I think it's just the clean salt that matters here. So if I 
I get on those? Is that mark those? Yes, okay. Alright, I probably need to go that way then. That'd be something in. Locked door. There we go. Okay. Good. It just kind of tells you that there's a locked door. That's not gonna help me, is it? Ooh, I should have gone to the left instead, I think. Or not. Okay, never mind. I think I could have gone this way. Alright, hopefully there's no pitfall here. Oh. Oh, this works. Dungeon explorations, way nicer when you're not getting into encounters every four steps like you do in this game. Uh.
Tenchu. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Everyone just seems to get in my way. Fine. Come on. Hopefully this thing doesn't like nullify physical attacks. Freeze. Okay, good. Touche. Yeah, you think like have an edge on the on those arm things would be good enough, but no, it has to also have a katana. Heads or tail. I'll shoot. All the other fights are getting huge crits. Like, there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, like the the first boss that I fought took like 20 minutes. Just about. Unless you know, like, the boss's weak points, then you're A, either going to spend time trying to find those out somehow by just trial and error, or you just chip away slowly with physical. I can chip away fairly easily here with level 99 and uh, other stuff, but the big gameplay thing for the battle system thing in one or in two, is that there's fusion spells, where if you, uh, if somebody casts, like, fire, and somebody else casts holy, and somebody else casts, like, uh, a water spell, they'll combine into, um, uh, like a more powerful spell. Instead of three separate spells, it's one, um, one more powerful single spell. And those you don't know ahead of time. Those you're supposed to also find out by trial and error. I'll shoot. But again, I'm not here for the battle system or the grinding or the dungeon delving. I'm here for the dank story, which has been really good so far. That's why we're doing story mode. Story difficulty. X1. Leasing Blue Dragon in Undersea Ruins? Alright. God, the plot for this one's more Shadow Hearts than than Persona. 
it's probably the other way around, considering this came out way before Shadow Hearts ever did. All right, the harbor. All right, so that dungeon would have taken us like <laughs> an hour or two, maybe, without the good doctor. But with the good doctor, we just cruise right through that. I beat Skull Monkeys yesterday in the last stream at the very end. You also missed, uh, I already did another full game since then. I've done, I did Intelligent Cube. That took about three hours. If you ever want to know about a game, um, like how long it took or anything, or deaths or what, whatever, um, you can use the mo the bot command exclamation mark game and then the the game title, like Skull Monkeys in this instance, and it will uh, my bot will spit out the the details that you want. What you doing, Maru? Well, you gotta spell the, the game name right. That's also important. The game is not called Sub-Zero. Called Mortal Kombat Mythology. Yeah, depending on when you fell- oh jeez. Alright, new track. Depending on when he fall, fell asleep, you might have like just missed the ending. Though I was stuck on the last level for like an hour and a half or something. Some ridiculous number. A long time. Those last, uh, last three parts of the last level were brutal. I love how that, uh, that wake texture just follows around the, the boat. Right, submarine dock. So here's the, this guy was the antagonist from Persona 1, and he's back, evidently. Shards? Yeah, Shards is like 80% into the, the game, I think. But you missed uh, probably two hours, two and a half hours. Um, it's already highlighted on my channel if you want to watch the rest. And uh, I'm currently uploading it to YouTube, but YouTube's taken forever to... Uh, uh, process it. mentioned the paradox a few times and haven't really explained it.
Wait, their submarine dock is a cruise ship? Okay. Sure. There's also an exclamation mark search command if you're not sure of the game's title. And I'll give you the exact title. Man, this game's cutscenes are a weird combination of, like, CG and anime. And I'm not sure I like it. With these cutscenes. You either gotta go full anime or full CG for this. It's especially weird because the sprite work is so good in this. Yeah, CGI is cool. This is a PS1 era game, so they had to really bank on that that cool factor. But it's, I just find it a little weird, like alongside the the really good sprites that are otherwise in this game. Defense Force, okay. Alright, we gotta go find a submarine. I just need to get to the center of the ship. Oh, and of course it's going to make me go this way. Hold on. Can I just go around? <laughs> Can I just go this way? Nope, there's a dead body in the way, because of course you can't step over it. Oh, there we go. Okay. What? <sighs> Alright, fine. Alright, due diligence. Anything over here? I have to take them the hard way. Alright, so south is where we want to be going. So in the upper left, it has a description for the door. If it's grayed out, then that means I can't go in. Glad this uh, this no encounter item actually works this time.
Alright, so we were in the basement earlier. Oh, now we're on the first floor again. Okay. We wanted to end up going south to the... the dock. Died more than skull monkeys. So who knows? That might be the the high water mark for deaths for PS Explosion. Because evidently uh, the sequel to Abe's Odyssey is slightly more forgiving. So who knows? We'll see. Abe's Exodus has already appeared in the poll, by the way, and something something else won. I can't forget. Or I can't remember what what beat out that one, but we've already had the opportunity at least once to do that one. I think it was maybe Persona. It might have been this that actually beats uh, Oddworld. First floor and check the Yep. Amazing hallway simulator. Hallway and map checking simulator. And then we're back where we started. Uh, Alright. Well, back to the basement then. Looks like I need to get to that. That thing. Let me check over here 
first. Slower games tend to have slower chats, so that tends to happen. All right, B two, I'm on B two. Okay, this is probably where the submarine is going to be. This is even story essential, but maybe that opened a door somewhere. Oh, this is where their the the mummy mummified samurai guy was. This room is definitely in a cutscene earlier. The dungeons are way too maze-like, and there's just random battles. Every ten steps, it's ridiculous. 
Yep, Tail of the Sun. I'm hyped for that one. Their caveman simulator game that I've heard so much about. I remember reading about it in a magazine a long time ago and thinking, that game looks really dumb. I'd like to play that. And then I just never saw a copy of it in stores. Probably for good reason, because it was too dank to be sold in stores. You can have a space if you want to. Like, I thought I, I've been busting that myth for a year now. In month two of PS Explosion, which was May 2015, I fixed it so that spaces work. <laughs> now. This guy got to take on four robots at once. <laughs> Both commands go to the same function, so it definitely doesn't count your vote twice. I'm not that bad of a programmer. Wait, I thought they don't have the death penalty in Japan. they do? Huh, okay. Dodge this. Freeze. Yeah. Twitch celebrity. They won't let me to TwitchCon if I don't Dodge this. Freeze. Yeah. Twitch celebrity. They won't let me to TwitchCon if I don't have one of those, I guess. Hopefully this thing just has less health than the last one I fought. Alright, does anybody have like a lightning spell? <laughs> Actually... Does anyone have Zeo? Alright, we'll 
of damage. Freeze! Huh. Shaq. I don't know. I have, a, I have the feeling Shaq doesn't care about TwitchCon. I get sneaking suspicion. So it will be during the off season, so I guess that you'll have no excuse. You won't have TNT duties or NBA TV duties. I'll shoot. Talking about the NBA champion, LA Clippers, in the offseason. They're actually making a sequel to Shaq Fu. I don't know if you know this. So it wouldn't be out of character for him to play through Shaq Fu. And I played a little bit of Shaq Fu, and I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's that bad of a game. I did say the Clippers instead of Warriors, because Steph Curry is injured, and Steph Curry's injury is a bigger blow to the Warriors than uh, Blake Griffin and Chris Paul being injured for the Clippers. Therefore, the Clippers are going to be the 2015-16 NBA champions. Touche. I'll shoot. Mark my words. All right. Looks like these things have the same amount of health as the previous one I fought. So get comfy, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea how, how they're doing so much damage, but they could be doing more damage. Uh, that's pretty part of the course for Persona games. Like, that's kind of the hallmark of you do a ton of damage to stuff, but they also do a ton of damage to you. And if I wasn't like 999 health in, and then these things would be ruining me on every single turn. But because I have the, the thing set up here, I can just tank all this damage. Dodge this. And then whittle away at these things. Hopefully I start getting some crits pretty soon. I'll shoot! Well, I would be killing these things a lot faster if I was using spells that did more than a little bit of damage, but. That's how it is right now. So I think the next time I, I go by Velvet Room, I'll go and get some higher level Personas. Because I should be able to summon like super high level Personas now. Yeah, yeah Persona 1 had some, some real damage sponge enemies. I'll shoot! And in Persona 1, like, um, the game kind of splits in a few sections to determine what kind of ending you get. And it's most of them are like really ambiguous dialogue choices. Like, don't say the wrong thing to this one NPC or else you're going to get the bad ending. Whoops. You're on the bad ending now. And you don't even know it. GG. <laughs> I don't know. If you're going to play through Persona 1, um, probably play the remakes of it. And two, um, maybe have like a spoiler-free guide of what dialogue options to choose or something. Or have somebody who knows when those options come up to like nudge you in the right direction if you want to actually get the good ending. Because the ending that I got was a bad ending and it was 
not good. <laughs> it was not not a great ending. Now, who knows? Maybe the the actual ending is not great. Either. Keep that in mind for someone. Yeah, I bet 100 percent sweeped in. Probably, uh... Quite the endeavor. Why aren't they attacking me for once? Yeah, I played a bit of uh, Persona 3 on PSP, and uh, I like the changes that they made. Like, they made uh, the field stuff more of like a strategy game, kind of? In a weird way? I bet you guys all attack the same thing. I think I like the PSP version of Persona 3 more than the PS2 version. Freeze. Yep. Well, that's that's her outfit. That's the outfit she wears. Did I use Game Shark? Absolutely. Can't you tell? So these stats look right, right? Might to replace the, the padding on my headphones. Well, that's why I called this um, Persona 2 Abridged Edition, brought to you by Dr. Game Shark and DDS PhD. So that there's no mistake in this. Yeah. I'll shoot. Because again, all I really care about with this game anymore is the story. Nola Major? What's that even for? I assume yeah. it's FGC. Dodge this. Street Fighter 5? I don't know what fighting games are big in the Philippines. I'll shoot! Probably Street Fighter 5. Touche. I can't think of any uh Filipino um, FGC people besides Filipino Champ. I think there'd be a lot in NorCal and SoCal, just because there's a lot of Filipinos around here. He's the only one I can pick up. <laughs> oh, it's Dota 2. Oh, um, well, I especially don't care about it then. You and your mobas. Well, they got a flank, that's why they're moving around. Both you run. Alright, there's two. Hey, Beast, alright. I'll shoot! I think I've heard a Filipino man. Touche! Yeah, I thought Marta's being used as well. But maybe he's just living there instead. Oh, okay. I'll shoot! Man. Is Martin the new the new bad guy for for Street Fighter 5? Is he the new Filipino champ? For everybody to root against. Because I was definitely rooting against him at uh, whatever the, the NorCal tournament was recently. He was just completely rooting people with his, uh, with his what's her name. 
the butt attack. Wait, he, he really fled the country? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Alright. I'll shoot! Army guy, yeah. Yeah, army guy. What's Marvel? Well, Marvel was in the poll for the last thing, and nobody voted for it, apparently. I think it got like 2% of the vote, so. Not anytime soon, I guess. <laughs> Unless we do a fighting game only poll that happens to have a few Marvel games in it. I'll shoot! Fight's still going. It's pretty cool. Pretty good boss fight, huh? I'll shoot. Subject, yeah, that's true. If your name Touché. comes up in the raffle and you want to spend your sub pick on Marvel, <laughs> by all means. Heads or tail. I'll shoot! <laughs> Alright, this fight's oh, almost over. We got like two more rounds yeah. here. The subscriber Enter raffle um, oh. is every tenth game, every game that ends in a zero, for PS Explosion is um, raffle for. Uh, a random subscriber is picked, and that subscriber picks a game, and it just gets put in as that game. Um, stipulations for that is uh, for that I cannot use Game Shark in it. Um, I cannot otherwise cheat in it, and I need to get to the end of whatever the single player mode is. I can still, like, drop it down to easy or something. But, uh, there'll be no funny business for, uh, uh subscriber fix. Alright, good. This is finally over. So the, uh, the last subscriber pick was Parappa the Rappa, and it was pretty good. Pretty good game. You're looking for IQ Intelligent Cube, which we just did. Hold on. Game number one scene. There we go. Uh, but when we're down to only like three, less than four games, um, there'll just be an empty spot on the poll. And then once we're done with those, we'll uh, we'll be down to two games, and then it'll just be two games in the poll. And then uh, whichever one's left won't be voted on. We're looking for submarine. Yeah, driver is pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, the current that pole there. Well, I think whenever it comes down to that, if if the slot is empty, I'll just have it randomly assign your vote. Because if you care that little about your vote, then I'll just have it automatically assign something.
But that's not something I have to worry about for a very long time. Very long time. Sure, I've already been to B1 from all these places. I don't know why the maps just got all reset. Well, at the rate we're currently going, it'll probably be more than three years. We still haven't even done any strategy RPGs yet, and those are probably going to take a while for each one. Um, you can actually, uh, if you go to the category stats page in, um, in that spreadsheet that's in there, it says the how many games we have left for a category and what the average time... Um, average time for the category is so far, and you can actually calculate how many hours are left of Peace Explosion, just going by averages. So I think we have like 35 JRPGs left, or 35 RPGs left, and the average time is 20 hours, so 20 times 35 will give us a rough time of just how many RPGs, how many hours of RPGs are left. Alright, Tatsu, you got a robot. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see that spreadsheet, go to uh, use exclamation mark PSX. And uh, one of the links in there is of the, the category stats, and then from there. You know what, I, should, I could just make that uh, an entry on uh, on that spreadsheet. I could just have it multiply those two numbers for you <laughs> and just make that a thing on like the end of the spreadsheet. submarine now. Four. Halo Mouse, 25 parts. I don't know. Oh, I know why it's 25%. Because um, I think I rate it out of like 5 or something. I think my math is wrong or something. It's not on like a, a, a yes no thing, it's like on a scale for some reason. So I need to, I need to fix that. That's true. That might be skewing the results for things.
<laughs> this looks like straight up maze. I think the um, the last time we did calculations for oh god the last time we calculated like potential lengths of so, PS explosion it was four thousand five hundred hours oh geez can't retreat okay please guys don't reflect physical or something. Judging by that, so we're at about we're on we've completed like 110 ish out of a bit under 600, like 598, I think. Um, and are 650 hours in. So multiply 650 by six and whatever that gives you, and that should be. Wonder, is that actually is that close to 4,500? Okay. The longest game so far, I think, was it was either Alundra or it was um, uh. Either Alundra or Lunar. This is a bit under four K. All right, good. That math checks out then. So I'm on slightly faster pace than I originally thought, but not by much. Okay, let's uh, let's summon some better persona here. All right, level seventy-seven. All right, let's get one of you. Sure. Yeah, about an hour for each fighting game. So some games are going to be shorter than the average run length. I think the average like game is about six hours, but those are balanced out by the the twenty five hour RPGs. So it all averages out. So the average average game is about six hours long, and we have about a bit under 500 left. So I guess that's another thing is 500 times um, six, and that'll give you the amount of hours as well. But I know for a fact one of the fighting games is going to be more than an hour. And that one's Air Guides. Because that one has a uh, an RPG mode in it of sorts. Or 
All right, this one's good. This one's got lightning and a lot of good spells. And so, and also, besides air guides, there's also um, Tobal. I think Tobal has a similar thing. And then there's all the weird modes in Tekken, Tekken Three. Um, we got to play through Tekken Force, of course. And Tekken Volleyball? I think? I think Tekken Bowling was in Tag Tournament. I can't remember if that was in 3. I don't think it was in 3, though. So not all fighting games are going to be super short. Bursack, Aquadine, Fear Torrent. Alright. Got something different. Stats all look the same. Alright, we'll we'll get you, I guess. Ah, uh, bogey dead sick. <laughs> I can't recall any game that had Dank in the title. Alright, let's get Scat Hatch. Alright, Gardine. Okay, this all seemed good. Um, for the most part, no, not doing compilations on PS1 at least. Um, on PS2, yes, we'll be doing a few of them, but for like the Atari game and Intellivision compilations, no. But I did include some of those in um, PS2 Hot for TV. Like there's a Sega thing in PS2 Hot for TV. Um, I think there's like an arcade thing in PS2 Hot for TV. Oh, Magnus. Uh, I don't like those spells. What do you got? Those are also bad. Okay. I get an Empress. And, uh, this will work. Be nice if I could skip this animation. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll play through your RPGs. Because they're generally going to be shorter in that uh, in that thing. Yeah, Tulip. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to Tulip. I've heard a lot of good things about that one. Tulip is actually one of the more expensive games on the PS2 for, like, a disc copy. There's a... Uh, you can get it on um, PSN. But a disc copy of Tulip is, like, $100 or something. Not the most expensive thing on PS2, but it's not... It's up there. Domina... Those don't seem like any good. Those also seem no Alright, let's not get a higher bet then. Ufudine, yep. Want that one. And Maha Aquadine, yep. Want those. 
Yeah, Tulip is a game where you, the primary gameplay mechanic is kissing people. And it's kind of like a um, adventure puzzle kind of thing, I think. I haven't played it, I've heard about it. But it's it's one of those bizarre, bizarre games like that. That looks super interesting. And it's one of those games that if you don't know what you're doing, um, it's easy to like get lost or or soft locked. I think so. Sounds like a real good time. <laughs> I've heard that it's super frustrating to play if uh, you don't have a guide or anything. Uh, like physical, actually. No, that's not good. Aries, straight slash. No, that's not good either. Yeah. All right. Fire breath. All right, those seem pretty good. Strong against lightning, nuclear, and ice, and weak against attack, but. That should be fine. Strong against nuclear. But I'm hyped for, I'm personally hyped for the next uh, PS Explosion stream because we're going to start and finish one of the greatest games of all time, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 The Hidden Empire, the, the PS1 special edition of that game, which is actually different from the PC version. So get hyped for that one. Alright, we're good with these. All right, sure, those look good. Yeah, it's a little weird that you can specifically resist nuclear, but should be fine. Yeah, the, the only real bummer with um, uh, Robo Assault 2 is that it doesn't support any support of analog at all. You can only use the D-pad. And it, it would be perfect to have to use the the dual joystick thing for it, but it doesn't support it. Yeah, we got quite a bit of Persona 2 left to go. Depending on how quickly I can cheat my way through it. We made a decent amount of progress, though. Yeah, Alka. Mighty swing will win. Sure, let's get that. This one's high level at least. Yeah, we're not ending tonight. It's probably going to be at least one more sitting after this one. Maybe two. Do I enjoy Persona 2 so far? I really like the story. I like the art style. I love the music. Um, the combat system is a step up from one, but I still don't like it. Uh, there are way too many random encounters. Uh, I, I generally don't like the, the gameplay systems in the Persona games, but the, everything surrounding the gameplay I like in Persona 2. This is one of the best looking like 2D isometric games that I've seen. But just playing through all the stuff to get to those cool parts is a real drag. A real drag. Uh, I don't like any of those spells. That won't work. 
Yeah, I've never played any of the, the Digital Devil Sagas. Then there's also the, the Raido Kuznoha games. Which I think those are like third person shooters, maybe? The Red Oak Kudzunoha games, the ones with the really long titles. Oh, that one's also an RPG? Jeez. Alright. Alright, this is the last one we're gonna get, and then we're gonna continue on. I gotta order. I gotta order some more, some replacement pads for this thing. This is driving me nuts. I guess I've had this headset for two years now, so of course it's gonna be blown up. See if I can actually equip any of these persona. Uh, all right. Wait, why? Where's all those sick persona I just summoned? Uh. Oh, I have to swap them out with Igor. Okay. Oh, that's what that swap command is. Ah, alright. That makes sense. Level 3 Persona. Pretty good. Alright, now we are. We got our Scat Hatch. Our Mananin. Who is. Who better be a cat? Alright, now we're good. So we got our level 71 persona now. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I need them to get their spells, so I need to give the quick level up accessory to everybody. Okay. And then go fight a few battles to go level up people. Okay. Alright, I need 
need to make it through there without falling into pitfalls. after the building was on fire. Uh, the New World Order. The subscriber message is from the Grand Stream Saga. Uh, the New World Order is um, trying to destroy the world. And they have a, um, a spaceship. Take this fight because we need uh, we need to level up go. our persona. Oh man. Inflict damage depending on caster's level to all enemies. That seems pretty okay. <laughs> Alright. What? There's two of them. All right. All right. You want to go? Yeah, I may. I I cheated for a whole bunch of stuff to make this way less tedious. whole bunch of stuff like the best equipment in the game um level 99 uh we can summon pretty much any persona uh just to expedite things yeah battle animations are um, a toggle in the options menu uh but they turn them on by default when you're in a uh boss fight. But you should only see him when you're like actually in a boss fight. Where have you been this way? Yeah, it's nice that they did that, because in the first game, it's like 90% of the boss of uh, the time spent in in fights in Persona 1 were just watching the same animation over and over and over again. So it's very nice that they put that option in for the ready? second one. Self-defense, there's no problem with that. 
That plus they also changed, um, they removed positioning. Like, position on the battlefield doesn't matter anymore in, uh, in Persona 2. Okay, so we can't go that way at all. Alright. Hey, Nifro. Uh, that stairs up. Hello, Harry. Yeah, it's a very marked difference you between the go. two games. In pretty much everything. Though that said, some of the charm of Persona 1 is kind of gone into. Just because of how horrible some of the translation stuff was in, in PS1, Persona 1. For the North American version, at least. I bet the, the Japanese release is probably fine. But, man, the, the US release of one was <laughs> something special. Alright, so I, I'm pretty close to, like, rank, on, top rank for, uh, for all these. Alright. What different? Everything. Good. Alright, let's interview the dog thing. Alright. Okay. Cool fight game. I actually just wanted to rank up and not get cards, but sure, fine. Yep, yeah, Mark Dance crazy. Wait, we're in B1 now? What? Alright, sure. I need to make my way over to the, the east side. Persona 5 fake announcement? Are you ready? I mean, what was there? I think I saw something about like a countdown fairly recently. Did that just turn out to be nothing? Was it a countdown to a countdown? Alright, whoop ass completed. Alright, I'm gonna turn off turn off encounters again. <laughs> We gotta make some progress in this dungeon now. Oh, it's just a. Uh... Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I gotta make my wall. Oh. I hate this area already. <laughs> oh, God. Make release. Oh god, that man. Stuff like that. I just does more damage than than good. It's not like people weren't already going to buy it, but I don't like it when PR folks do stuff like that. Um. Well, for the thing I'm doing for no encounters here is I'm using an item that um, uh, removes encounters with enemies that are lower level than you, um, and I game shark to level 99, so uh, it essentially removes encounters. But there is no like built-in no encounters thing. Like uh, bravely default, I think is something that a modern thing that does that. 
But I am I'm calling upon the power of the good doctor to remove encounters. Alright, let's not fall in that pit. Okay. I'm assuming there's gonna be pitfalls like everywhere in this dungeon. Right here. This item right here. Item lowers the encounter rate of low level enemies. And because I'm level 99, everything is pretty much lower level than me. Except bosses. And you have to fight those anyways, so. This greatly speeds up the the dungeon crawling process here. Yep, salt, we got plenty of that here. You missed uh, Intelligent Cube. No salt going on in Intelligent Cube, especially not the really good last level <laughs> of Intelligent Cube. Uh, there's another stairway. Okay, where does this go? Yep, this has become definitely a speed run. <laughs> Alright. What what cool gameplay. What cool gameplay. And just think, during all of this, we could be having random encounters as well. Doesn't that sound like fun? And random encounters like every 10 steps. So over there, that's where I want to be. That's where the boss is. I'm back here again. Great. Great. Right, right back at the very start. Oh, we can't even use the other. Shortcut here. Treasure room. Wait. Treasure room around here somewhere, evidently. Right? At least I be. Um, intelligent cube earlier. I didn't think. I honestly didn't think I would be able to get to the end of Intelligent Cube just from my memories of playing it all those years ago and just not being able to clear like a single stage. And just thinking I'm too stupid to play Intelligent Cube. But I ended up beating it. 
And I didn't have to, like, cheat or anything. It's a way to go, me. I set my standards super low, and I exceeded them. Yeah, teleport dungeons are also the worst. Yep. Okay. Talk to that they don't show pitfalls on the, the zoomed out map. Oh yeah, that's why you gotta break out the graph paper for teleport dungeons. But well, I'm generally not not a fan of um, having to make maps for games. Like, sure, I'll make maps for like a speed run that I'm routing, but not for. Casual playthroughs. Assuming there's nothing down here, I'll keep heading that way. Hatchery and Odyssey? I don't think so. I think that's a DS game. Okay, let's just head straight down. Let's see what we got. And no pitfall. Oh. Oh, you make your own map. supposed to go there. Hopefully the thing just isn't like there and I'm being trolled by the game. Though that wouldn't surprise me. Alright. Getting our way back. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun gameplay? Yeah, I, I played a little bit of, of Strange Journey. That one I have played. That game was weird. <laughs> like, true to its name, that was certainly a strange journey. Um, I'll give the RPGs a, a solid try. That's all I can really commit to, but we'll see. We'll see. Because PS2 Hop for TV is going to be super long regardless. So, what's another however many hours those Genesis slash Mega Drive RPGs are going to be? Right. Because, like, I think Shining Force 1 and 2 are maybe on those collections, and I've been meeting to play those for forever, so that works out. Like, I missed out on a lot of 16-bit um, uh, RPGs. Like, I didn't really get into console RPGs until PlayStation era, and even then, only, like, FF7 and FF8. 
So that'll be my uh, that'll be my time to plan, I guess. Though it's not quite the same playing them on PS2 instead of like on their their proper consoles. Is there even... Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? That's where the staircase was and there's fucking pitfall? <laughs> Alright, there better not be pitfalls, like, around the stairs, either. This game. This game. I'm almost tempted to save here, so that if I fall to pitfall... No, I'm gonna do that, but if I fall to pitfall and... ...have to run all the way back, then no. How about no? But yeah, like, uh... The Fantasy Star series, I haven't played at all. Um, I've seen a little bit of them. I've heard a lot of good things about Fantasy Star 4. Uh... The Shining series I haven't really played. Um, there's also the the precursor to Alundra, uh, Landstalker is also on 16-bit Sega. But those games are actually on Steam, so I could just do that. Oh yeah. It, it, like I saw, um, I saw my news feed the other day that uh, Sega's adding uh, mod support to their um, their 16-bit games on Steam. Like what? <laughs> it's cool and all, but how the hell is that supposed to work? <laughs> like get your your mod of Sonic the Hedgehog smoking smoking weed or something on on Steam? Like. <laughs> How's that even supposed to work? Come on, I'll take you on. Sure, let's do it. And it's like all the games, like, um, what? Sonic, uh, Shining Force, Kojam and Urhul, like all of them have bot support, I think. Oh god, this is this is not gonna go well. Okay. Fantasy Star 4. Yeah, I think I think I've tried to like watch speedruns of the Fantasy Star games, and then I keep like I watch 15 minutes and then think to myself, I could, I could just be playing these instead. And then never finish watching him. No! They call this the logical result. Oh yeah, new threat for F7. I've been watching um, Kainos play through that, and that uh, that one looks interesting. It's like they they took out the um, the leveling system from that, and you can only get stats with sources, which is uh, that's a. Uh, an interesting change to that uh, to that game. All right. Well, does this do anything? It does. Okay. It does do something confirmed. Did that take like all my health. Sparkly bear trap. Well, I wanted to make sure. <laughs> wanted to make sure. It could just be like set dressing. Never know. Yes. 
something. We haven't had pitfalls in a while, so I think we're we're doing good. I'm not a fan of this dungeon. I concur. Okay. It's giving me the, the heartbeat thing, so I think the, the boss... Here we go. Okay. Alright. We're at the end of this dungeon, finally. Hopefully. Oh, God. I think it's a door on the right side. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Please, no pitfalls. Don't pitfall me, bro. Don't you dare. Don't you dare pitfall me right before the boss door. Okay. Oh. How many more dungeons? According to I, I snuck a peek at an FAQ a while ago. I think there's like five more. Maybe. It stopped doing the, the heartbeat thing on the controller, so... Uh, uh, maybe I accidentally ran away from the boss? Alright, those are items which I don't care about. Heartbeat is back. Uh, where's the boss? Room of Seal. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, I'm loading that safe. Maybe I was supposed to open those boxes or something. It's doing the, it's vibrating the controller and doing the heartbeat, so it's gotta be around here. The only thing here is... Stairs up, unless there's like... Something to interact with on the wall? Oh, actually going up, that's true. Wall north. Duh. That's right. I forgot I dropped into this room. I thought that's where I came from. That's true.
Alright. So this is how they're going to destroy the world, is... Reverse the ley lines or something? Alright. So this guy was the final, final-ish boss of... Master Guido, allow me! I understand. Well, then I ask the Paradox to be my opponent. I'll get you for what happened last time. Such sorrowful eyes. Alright, I understand. I will fight you fair and square. Alright. Alright, suddenly we're in space. Sure. This is pretty anime. Yeah. Alright, that's more like it. Go! Alright, so the ice breath sucks. It looks like physical attacks are the way to go against uh, Grill here. Who's got AoE attacks? Uh, looks like all these sprites look the same. The one in the middle has a slightly larger pendant, but that's just, I think that's just a camera thing. The other one's... okay. The other one's just reflected. Okay. So it's the one in the upper left. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Well. Well then. Alright, there we go. I got the right one. Control. I just gotta keep my eye on the one that is the real one. Oh, why'd you cast Fire Breath again? 
No! Malfu, what the fuck are you doing? Damn it! What? <laughs> Alpha, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, well that brought him back anyways. Alright. That's... The correct one hasn't moved yet. Okay. All right. Change. Change that. Attack that one. I think it's that one. Uh, everything else should be good. are dead. Yeah, hopefully the fight should be a lot faster now that we actually have higher persona than level 3. <laughs> Meanwhile, the world is still ending, apparently. They still summoned the dragon or something. Um, stuff I play off stream. I am slowly working my way through Undertale, um, but it's it's mostly just audio surf too, and that's just something to zone out to whenever I need to uh, like brainstorm things, because it's like the perfect brainstorm game. If I need to think about a programming problem or something. I'll just, uh, I'll play Audio Surf 2, and, uh, that usually helps me think. And I'm a couple hours into Undertale. I'm slowly going through that game. I'm working on some uh, stream overhaul stuff, secret projects.
Well, I've already seen, I've watched Ed speedrun a lot of uh, Undertale already. I've seen a lot of it. Yeah, it's also why I'm not streaming Undertale anything, because the second I do, it's gonna be like, Hey, I love this, I love the part coming up next where major spoiler, major spoiler, major spoiler. <laughs> like, great. Like, you could fill your entire screen with, hey, no spoilers, and people will still manage to find a way to spoil Undertale stuff. It's also why I haven't been, uh, I haven't streamed me playing Dark Souls either. <laughs> I'll do that on my own time. Right. I've been playing through a little bit of, of Dark Souls. Alright, we're going to the Araya Shrine, wherever that is. That Ife is more important. <laughs> GG, Persona 2. Ife is more important. I do like point clicks. Um, and speaking of that, uh, I managed to track down a copy of The Neverhood. And um, The Neverhood works with Scum VM, so it just. It just kind of works. So, sometime in the near future, I'm going to be playing through uh, the Neverhood because um, it's the point-and-click predecessor to Skull Monkeys. And since one of the best parts of Skull Monkeys was the the weird FMVs, um, I really want to play through um, uh, the Neverhood since I never did that. Most I played in the Neverhood is the demo from way back in the day. Alright, where the hell is that shrine? I guess I can just... Mount Iwato is apparently where the shrine is. There it is. Where am I Discworld 2? I beat Discworld 2. That one was a two-sitting game, I think? Rainbow? Haven't heard of it. Uh, the Boyks gave me a pace bin like a week or so, a week or so ago of um, his recommended point and clicks, and I don't remember that being on the list. Yeah, you missed Discworld 2. Uh, that should be on YouTube by this point, I think. Oh, that's the guy from the uh, Insane Asylum, I think. The guy from way earlier in the game. Wait. So this is doing a bit of the, the alternate world thing from Persona 1. Oh man, Toonstruck. I know of Toonstruck, 
but I've never played it. I heard that one is pretty amazing in its own way. I wonder if that one's compatible with Scum VM. Okay, I don't, uh, I don't think it said where I had to go next in that, in any of that dialogue. Now Mount he walks. Okay, so I guess I gotta go to the mountain. Go to Mount Iwato, be able to know all in exchange. Okay, all right, we'll go there. Then. Oh, good. Another maze. Torn's Passage is one of the greatest games of all time. If that was your only point and click, then you picked a good one. I really like Torn's Passage. I think the thing I liked the most about that one was the, um, the puzzle near the end where, with the voice recorder. I thought that one was really clever. Alright. I've never played the Kai Randy games. I think there's three of them, though. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, this is Persona 1 flashback, it looks like. These are definitely Persona 1 faces. Yep. Ellen looks way different <laughs> from Persona 1 to 2. King's Quest style Master System. King's Quest V has a, a Super or a Nintendo port and an NES port. But there's significantly less dank memes in that version because there's no voice, no spoken dialogue. Oh, well, they're right about that. There's Ellen now. That's how much different she looks.
All right. Yeah, promises are stupid. All right. Is this backstory cave where we get the backstory of all the characters through some tedious exposition and mazes? Pants leader. Isn't Ginkgo a bank? All right, sure. That was Tatsuya's backstory. Where does Hitler fit into all this? <laughs> if apparently he was in the other one. Falls. 
been playing the other one. The other one, one wasn't released in North America on PS1, so nope. If I were going to play the other one, I would have played that first, because that one came before this one chronologically and plot-wise. But for whatever reason, they didn't release it. Uh, they release it here. Alright, we got pitfalls again, boys. Exciting. Alright. So I gotta hug the ball here. Yep. Innocent Sin was never released on the PS1. And oh, the one I'm playing is the only one that was released. Innocent Sin didn't uh, didn't come out until like the, the remakes or something. I'm not sure about Europe, but uh, in North America at least it didn't come out here. Falls. Yep, these pits, huh? They were really the pits. Alright. Hug these walls and hope for no pits. Okay, can't go that way. Guess up and to the left? Yeah, alright. I guessed correctly. That was the guy from the the insane asylum. Record my ass. Leave the cave then. Oh. Something bad may happen. Can't just say, let's leave the cave. Alright, I have right to know. Seeking. Yep. Sona 2. You missed uh, all the fun of falling into pitfalls over and over again. We might get uh, a bit of that here. See these? The best part of Persona 2. Just random pitfalls. Slow. 
Okay. We're getting a hot plot dump, is what's currently going on. Steaming hot plot dumps. Pretty anime at this scene. Controller's vibrating, like it's a boss fight or something. Oh, so that's like a recap of the, the first first part of Persona 2. Okay. Yarla Hotep. Yeah, Pseudo is evil guy, I think. Or Suo. It's also the guy who keeps putting pitfalls in dungeons. This is a pretty evil thing to do.
Oh, it's this guy again. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Maya is a messy eater. All right, he's a vampire too, apparently. Yeah, give us a summary, ooh la la. Sure. 
tricked me. You dummy. You big dummy. Yeah, get him. Yeah. Plot dump complete. Probably. Wait, is she leaving our party now? Oh! Alright. I gotta get rid of a, a persona. Okay, so. How about you? Oh, shit. Catch up with Tatsu before it's too late. Terifune. Okay. Remember about the underground, you should find it. Ooh, you're not level 99, are you? Level 62, huh? Level 55, huh? I think it does um, the no encounter thing based off of uh, uh, average levels. But I think we're still good. Alright, I gotta level up this guy real fast. I probably have to ask around or look for some sort of I said something about underground ruins at the back of the subway construction site had to ask, apparently. Do a bit more here. I was looking at what we have left. If I can make it through the subway here, then uh, we'll be well poised to beat the game in the next sitting.
So the next stream will likely be um, starting and finishing Rebel Assault 2, and then probably finishing this as well in the next stream. Sure, she can drive a subway car. Yep, finish Intelligent Cube. It was quite the struggle in some parts, but I did it. That last level of Intelligent Cube was... Pretty brutal. Pretty short, but because it's a, a puzzle game, it's meant to be replayed to get high score and to get good, but I don't really want to do either for that. <laughs> Needs skill when you got a game shark. subway tunnel. Definitely going to be no pitfalls in a subway tunnel. adults anyway. Good thinking. Lala. Alright, so hopefully I don't get encounters. If I do get encounters, I know exactly why. Switch. It's a switch. I did equip Tatsuya. I did that when I looked at his stats. He's got one of the best swords in the game. The Leviathan or something. And he's got a Persona. Alright, 
Time for some aimless wandering. The no encounter thing is working. Levels are in the subway. Oh, my God. Okay, good. Progress. Good. Uh. All right. Oh, this is the, uh, the spaceship. No, this is this is definitely a, a very pretty looking game. They did a hell of a job on the the two D art in this and blending it really well with the three D stuff.
Aliens. All right, Able Mouse. Oh God, traps. Traps like pitfalls, huh? Oh God, she thought of pitfalls, and now there's gonna be pitfalls. Ah. Uh, Lola. God damn it. They power rock out of there. the Tori film. Alright folks. Made some good progress today. Um, apparently we are pretty close to the end of, uh, of the game here. Enough so that we will likely finish it the next time uh, play this. So stick a fork in that for today. Um, 